Hey everybody, welcome back. So we've got ourselves another episode on, you guessed it, Labor Day. So I want to wish everybody a Labor Day and happy Labor Day. And then of course, uh, it's the last of our long weekend as we kind of head into a very interesting market. But there's a lot of information out there. Holy smokes, we've got all kinds of great things that are happening in the market. Although some people are saying, George, it's like a, it's like a yo-yo, man. You get information here, you're getting information there. It's, it's conflicting. And you know what you're saying is, well, it's similar but slightly different and you're giving a different perspective. Well, which is great to have a different perspective. But all of our metrics are consistent and we're actually pretty accurate for predicting the future. You know, some folks say, you know, like uh, the article that we just got here, let's open this up here. Uh, the article that we just got uh, that people were looking at, uh, the Seattle housing score, that's yeah, pretty crazy. And they give us, you know, the thumbs down for our market. The however is what's super interesting is that our market is actually doing really well. We're going to go through some of that because we have our preliminary August numbers in. You're going to get those first right now. So remember, smash that subscribe button because you will be informed when these videos come out. Plus, you're going to get great information that you need to make the best business decision. And there's no selling. That's the best part. Anyway, we're going to have some links for some information uh, that's later on in this. Uh, down below in the additional, uh, uh, I guess, information. Make sure that you uh, ask your question. Leave your remarks. Love to hear what you guys have to say. So let's uh, let's move on. Let's take a look at... Uh, our very first kind of what is happening in the market. Look at this. So we have 639 homes that were new on market of our seven day running average. Now remember, this running day average, we use Pierce, King and Snohomish County, not the entire state of Washington and it's residential only because it's germane to the, the bulk of the people that watch this channel. So it allows you again to get a very good trend of what's happening because when we talk about trends again 1151 homes went pended okay so already for every home that's coming on market two of them are going off yes i have my bionic arm i feel like the terminator uh <laughs> surgery appears to be going well uh and i get uh, this wonderful brace but anyway nonetheless look at the solds we have 1040 that is absolutely common. It is towards the month end, and we do have a lot of closings at month end. Uh, so next week numbers will probably dwindle down to about the high, well, I'd say about mid 800s, might hit the 900s, but uh, month end is always our, our crazy stuff. When you take a look at that, you can see that our we are trending actually really well. So when we take a look at the chart here, and you'll note at the different arrows, so you can see August over August, we had more inventory last August and a significant amount of more inventory, uh, as you're going to see in the next chart. Uh, but our sales are like almost right on target where they were last year. So we're not seeing buyers stepping away as they acclimate to the higher interest rates or getting closer to what we call normal interest rates. Look, everybody, you know, the Fed's artificially bought it down. Yes, there was awesome rates. And yes, it did a lot of things that artificially bumped up the market. Uh, they should have pulled it back sooner to, to allow more of a gradual versus a, a real steep, uh, you know, increase in, in mortgage rates uh, would have been a definitely a more gradual rate, uh, but they didn't, whatever, you know, all the words in the world ain't going to fix it now. So let's keep that in perspective. Buyers are still acclimating and sellers, you know, hey, there's some still really great information out there. So when we take a look at this chart and we bump that in, you can see, uh, you know, inventory at almost 26%, solds are down 26.3. And then of course, uh, pended are only 20% down. As we look at each of these numbers, okay, it is super beneficial to understand as a buyer and a seller that our market is still doing amazingly well, okay? Are we going to foresee a future problem? Uh, not at the rate we are. Why? Because our inventory is horrifically low. We have a horrible inventory issue right now. In fact, when you take a look at this chart, we'll blow this all the way up for you. So when you take a look at this, we can see that we do have a downward trend in pricing for listings. 
Uh, that doesn't mean that home values are going down. That just means that our, what the average list price is heading downward, which is, uh, well, if you look over on uh, uh, August and September of last year, you'll see that same trend, okay? But what is different is that you're seeing a more upward trend. Yes, we saw a little bit of an upward trend last year, or you know, a little bit more flattening. We are still seeing that, but a little bit more aggressive. As you can see, uh, last year where we were in the 750s-ish, uh, for an average sales price, we're in the above, uh, you know, 800. We're about, I think, 825-ish price point, and we have continued to head up in that positive direction. Will we continue to see that? Hey, here's what's going to happen over the next three weeks. Listen, uh, kids, students are getting back in school. Okay, uh, that means buyers' brains are on vacation. Uh, Last-minute vacations. Why? Fall is coming. September. People are scheduling their vacations, getting uh, kind of situated, you know, and doing their their transitions and whatnot. Uh, that means their mind's not on real estate. We will start to see more activity with buyers as we get closer to the end of September, as people start to transition from summer to fall. That is normal. So we're going to see just a little bit of a pullback uh, in some areas. So don't be surprised. Yes, we're heading towards the end of the vacation trifecta, which is something that we seasonally see as we start to see more activity. Uh, we are still seeing multiple offers on a number of different homes that are out there, which is super important to understand that there is still a massive pent up demand. So when we take a look at what did August bring us? Well, August was still a seller's market. And in fact, when we take a look at it month over month and year over year, the actual number of homes for sale was up month over month, but it was still down, you know, 24% from last year. Number of new homes coming on market was both down month over month and down year over year. Significantly, almost 17% year over year. Homes closed month over month was up 10.2%, which is really good. And but down 16%, uh, you know, year over year. And then, of course, when we talk about pended, we did very well in August for uh, pended homes, despite the fact that we had some of the highest mortgage rates that we have seen since probably the early 2000s. Now, that did not diminish the level of buyer activity. In fact, we are still below two months of inventory. We're actually, we're actually closer to one month of inventory. So if I have a bucket called the Northwest MLS and all the agents put their listings in this bucket and boop, I cap it, we should have four to six months of inventory to sell. We have one month. So there's still a significantly limited number of homes available for buyers to consider. Now, as we move forward and we take a look at this chart, Okay, when we take a look at the mortgage chart and we take a look at what was happening, not only, those are the difference, uh, when we look at what happened at our peak, then of course we pop back down to 7.12. And then of course, when we roll that back and we take a look at what happened this time last year, you can clearly see that we have actually been performing well, considering the fact our mortgage rates have been peaking out at 15, 20 year highs. Again, we're getting back to a little bit of normal, not the craziness of the buy downs that we saw in 2020 and 2021, which was artificial. We're getting back to where our normal rates are between really five and a half and six and a half. We are predicting uh, in fourth quarter that we will pull back on rates, that they will actually drop down into the mid sixes. We're going to see a lot of activity from buyers as they hit about 6.6%. Buyers are going to come out. We're going to see a lot of activity, and that will probably go from, I would say, late September, now nah, probably more October, late October, uh, to about mid-December when uh, we start seeing some rates because some of those numbers are coming back. Now, this mortgage rate watch, remember, I'm a real estate broker. I'm not a mortgage broker, but I do help you track information. So we'll put that link down so you can see that live chart, and you can uh, receive that as an update. And uh, of course, remember, has questions. All right. So let's uh, remember we've got the Fremont uh, Oktoberfest is coming right around the corner. Uh, and also the uh, Oktoberfest in Leavenworth, which is, again, another fabulous opportunity. Even if you don't drink uh, alcoholic beverages, there, there's so much more that happens other than that. And it is absolutely awesome. The food is amazing, uh, whether you're a vegetarian or not. 
uh, it is absolutely amazing. And so make sure that you're getting out there. Also, we've got a lot of different shows that are coming up for the month of September, including some film film festivals. That was almost uh, hard to say. And uh, if you want, uh, that link will also be there. So you can go immediately to these pages. Just remember the Washington State Fair is out there. Get your scones, get your onion burger, Well, some of you, and then uh, your strawberry shortcake. Well, the scones and strawberry shortcake, those are a given. Those are awesome. Anyway, if you have any questions, remember, ask and ye shall receive. Because here we go. Remember to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Let's have some fun with that. Share it with people that you like and share it with two people you don't like. Uh, this way they get really solid information. At the end of the day, look, August was great. Yes, it's a yo-yo out there. Yes, you're getting a lot of mixed information. Subscribe. Make sure that uh, you're just getting the, the solid information for our area. In the meantime, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.